To say there has been a huge development in the game today would be an understatement. Today, it was announced that Five Star Weapons are finally coming to Road to Survival. Now, I personally have some mixed feelings about this, only because S-Class tunes have just entered the game, and now all of a sudden, we're changing weapons up right away? It just seems like a lot of information and a lot of new things that are drastically going to change the way the game is played. Sure, you're still using your characters and weapons and mods to attack the opponent, but now everything is enhanced. We have S-Class tunes, five-star weapons coming, and platinum mods. There were also some changes being made to the armory to make it easier to navigate. I know a lot of us use secondary systems in order to look up what we want the upgrade on a weapon to be. It can be kind of a hassle going back and forth between this app and another app or a picture in order to decide what you want to upgrade a weapon with. And I do like the changes that they've made because I think it'll help, especially with new players, in understanding how important the armory is. Like when I was first starting out, it was very difficult to battle a team that was completely windowless. So a team that had a bunch of stun guns, absolute defense, AP down when being attacked, as well as impair. And now we are being introduced to five star weapons. So we've had four star weapons for a while that have been able to have one special skill and then other skills including HP, defense, crit chance, attack, AP when attacking, as well as AP when defending. The new additional things that you can add to these weapons are listed on a separate area, and there's 144 new possibilities. That is an incredibly high number, which means that you're bound to see some very interesting and unique weapons. So you're going to have to really think when upgrading your weapons and deciding what type of weapon am I going to need in the future. Because instead of just earning 5-star weapons, you are able to upgrade any 4-star weapon to 5-stars. By upgrading your 4-star weapon to a 5-star weapon, you are now granted an additional 4th weapon effect slot. In this 4th spot, you can craft the new epic weapon effects, base stats, or AP boosts. So some key things to remember is this base effect lock. So when you upgrade your 4-star weapon to a 5-star, all the effects that that 4-star weapon has that you may have upgraded to are locked in place. So if I craft stun, a huge bonus to AP when attacking, and 40% defense onto my stun weapon, and then I upgrade it to a 5-star weapon, if I say craft in the 4th spot, but don't get, say, plus 40% HP, I can reset my weapon and it'll still have those original stats from its 4-star days. The stats the weapon has when it's upgraded from a 4-star to a 5-star are now its new default weapon stats. This is important to note because now your upgrade counter is reset, which means you have three new attempts at crafting additional stats on your 5-star weapon. So these five star weapons will now need a new armory token currency, which I feel like will be part of the bottleneck. So to prevent players from getting five star weapons too soon, and probably to encourage players to spend if they end up being a rank reward or if they can be purchased from the shop. When you upgrade a four star weapon to a five star, you can't reverse it. So before you upgrade a four star weapon to a five star weapon, Ensure that that's exactly what you want, because there's no going back. So a nice new addition that Scopely did add is this fixed weapon stat swapping. So after upgrading a fixed weapon to be a 5-star weapon, and researching whatever the fixed weapon swapping upgrade is, you'll be able to switch the stats on your fixed weapon with a weapon that you have already crafted to perfection. Keep in mind, it has to be a weapon of the same trait. So for example, if I had Xander, but I wanted to give him an impair weapon, I have to give him a blue impair weapon and can't say give him the yellow impair weapon on attack when attacking. So these weapons are designed to enhance a character's abilities and their strengths, but it's not supposed to cause a lot of frustration like a stun gun and not having a disarming tune. In this case, these epic slots, well, their effects cannot be disarmed, 
but neither will a disarm tune be able to trigger an epic effect. And with this, there are now four new epic effects that have been added to the game. We have destruction, amplification, team player, and resistance. And there is a whole separate guide that Scopely has released explaining all the new additions that have been made regarding the fourth slot and the new abilities that you can craft onto these epic weapons. It's important to note that these epic weapon effects can only be crafted into the fourth slot, and these specific traits cannot be disarmed. The third slot effect can still be disarmed, but the fourth one is considered immune. From an aesthetic appeal, I do like that these new weapons can get diamond quality and they'll achieve a new combat glow. So to get these five star weapons, they need a new currency called armory tokens in order to craft. So all these five star weapons need weapon parts and have new optional parts that can increase your success chance, your critical chance, and then there's a skip crafting time. And I feel like that is going to cost players money. Kind of like how we can use coins now to skip to the end of our craft already on our armories. I guess an upside is these armory tokens replace materials as the crafting currency for the new effects. And you'll be able to get these armory tokens in player versus player events. So that's like in arena drops, raid milestones, which is great. Raid rank rewards, I'm a little iffy on just because if you're in a really competitive region, it's obviously going to be a lot more difficult to acquire these pieces if they're only for, say, the top 10 players. And these optional parts to help with crafting will be at the top end arena and raid rewards and found in the league store. Another issue here, the league store, there's currently a bottleneck anyway because all these players need a bunch of gear and we're buying out the league store for that gear with our league store tokens. So now we have to split our resources up even more unless they start rewarding players with more league store tokens. Now, although it says that all these tokens and parts will be available persistently through gameplay, it makes me wonder if it's actually available for all players or just the players who pay to play. I would like to see the majority of these parts and tokens in milestones rather than rank rewards. So while adding this fourth slot, they've also made it possible to upgrade all the third slots as well. So now instead of just having, say, Raider 3, there's a Raider 4 option, same as Slayer, Defender, and Supporter. Overall, I have some mixed feelings about these changes, just because I feel like we've made a lot of changes already in this game, and very quickly at that. We have 10 S-Class characters that are out, I believe. We have Platinum mods that have been rolling out, and they haven't been rolling out too fast, and I kind of enjoy that because it means no one's getting a huge stat boost right off the bat, although they are getting the stat boost just from S-Class tunes themselves. I really do hope that these weapons roll out at a fairly slow pace and it's all just not dumped on us all at once. I feel like there's a lot of changes being made to the gameplay now and it's going to take a while for people to adjust to all these changes. For new players just coming to the game, I feel like it would be very overwhelming for people because you see about a thousand collections in the museum. You can get these ascendable characters at the beginning, as well as either James or Krista for free. So you have these one stars, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars, a few ascendables, maybe a six star, and then you have an S-class. And what you're going to find right away is that that S-class can one-shot almost any other tune out there. So instead of relying on the other pieces in your tune, as a new player, you're relying upon that one S-Class tune that you have. You might have a second one if you have been able to participate in a war, because you'll be able to get Kapoor, but after that, it's very difficult unless you're spending to catch up and compete. Now I'm hoping that the other changes made to the armory will make it easier for players to understand the purpose of it and the value of it. So I've been playing in a couple other regions on some mini accounts and I feel like a lot of players don't understand the value of their armory. Hopefully these changes will enhance the player's experience and let's hope and pray it goes smoothly. I know things often don't, but I'm trying to be optimistic. Anyway, expect a follow-up video from me 
regarding the new abilities, and thanks again for watching and listening to my video.